Hello Internet, James Allen from Out of 8, and today I'm playing turn-based 4X strategy game Warhammer 40,000, Gladius Relics of War. This is by the developer of Pandora First Contact, which itself was a take on Alpha Centauri. So you'll notice there are a lot of similarities between Pandora First Contact and this game, although uh, beyond the setting, uh, which doesn't really interest me personally that much to be honest, uh, there are some interesting gameplay changes uh, in this title. Uh, compared to its predecessor. Uh, so I'm going to start a new game. Uh, the game currently contains four factions. Uh, you have the Imperial Guard, who I'm going to play as. You have the Necrons, Orcs, and Space Marines. Uh, so I'll just kind of do uh, medium and standard game speed. Uh, and then I'll f have one of each of the other factions to play against. Uh, there aren't really that many big changes between the different factions. They have very subtle differences. Uh, the main difference is, uh, you know, they all have basically the same types of units. Uh, infantry uh, and wheeled vehicles and stuff like that. Uh, and they have some subtle, uh, like, bonuses and stuff like that uh, that you can have. A lot of game cups customization options in here that you can set. Uh, there's also, uh, all the maps are randomized. There's no real campaign in it. Although the game does have a quest line, uh, very similar to Endless Legend, where it gives you quests uh, that you can achieve. Uh, and you get victory by either defeating all the enemy factions or completing uh, the quest line for your faction. Uh, a little disappointing is that the quests are the same every time you play. Uh, so you end up doing the same sort of things over and over again. I like to see that be a little bit more dynamic for increased replay value, but that's okay. Uh, so we'll start the new game. Skip the introductory cutscenes here. Uh, so, uh, much like in Pandora, uh, First Contact, and Alpha Centauri, the game world is extremely hostile. Uh, beyond the first turn, you pretty much have to keep all of your units together or you will get destroyed by all of the hostile units uh, that are present on the map. Uh, so typically on the first turn, you'll want to establish your city uh, and then you'll want to start exploring around. You really want to capture these little outpost locations, which gives you resource bonuses. Um, so that's what I'm going to concentrate on here. And then I'm going to move all of my units basically together um, so I don't get destroyed here. So I'll actually probably take these guys and move them down here. And I'll probably start scouting out to the south. Uh, and then these guys, I think I'm going to do a city, but I don't know where I want to do it yet. Actually, that's... Yeah, these guys have minus food for basically all these locations here. So I'll just go down here and do it there. Uh, so each of the cities for each of the different factions basically behave in the same way. Uh, what you do is you capture surrounding tiles. Uh, and then each of the tiles, as you can see here, gives you different resource bonuses. Uh, so for example, uh, here I'm going to lose 10% of my food, but I get a bonus uh, for the ore and uh, manufacturing. And then each of the tiles has space for a specific number of buildings. Uh, so I'm just going to choose this one here. Uh, and then it takes a couple turns to do that. Um, and then that's basically what you do. And then you can add buildings in here. You have resource collecting buildings. And then you'll eventually be able to... Uh, build unit producing buildings and then other sorts of uh, buildings that you know give you bonus resources or unlock additional units and stuff like that uh, increasing your population cap increasing loyalty or influence stuff like that um, and you can build more than one of the same building which is very really interesting because you could build like six infantry uh, buildings if you wanted to like six barracks and you would just produce units very quickly uh, which is kind of the thing there. So there's no set build order in the game. It really relies on what resource bonus uh, tiles you encounter and which ones you expand upon. And then basically I just kind of build what I'm short on. Uh, so for example, since my lowest thing is uh, food, I'd probably do the food farm uh, next after I capture the surrounding tile. Uh, there's also a research tree. Uh, which is slightly different for each faction. It's set up in tiers, uh, and then uh, there's usually pretty good selection of stuff here. 
you know, basically uh, unlocks new buildings and new units uh, and different uh, abilities as you go on. So I'm going to start with the frag grenade because I know I'm going to start encountering bad guys uh, very quickly. Has all the notifications along the side here and also tells you if anything's idle, which is very nifty. Uh, so pretty decent interface uh, to kind of go around. Here's uh, the first quest. So what it wants me to do is research and construct a specific unit. Uh, and then that gives you a reward and then will allow you to kind of expand uh, beyond that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these units and just kind of scout. And I definitely need to keep them together. Because like I said, you will get into deep trouble if he split your forces up even this early on in the game. So I'm really just... Oh, that's the map edge. Uh, this is, unlike Pandora, this is like a uh, board game where there is an edge to the map. Uh, and you don't, you know, you can't go beyond here. It doesn't wrap around to the other side. Gee, it's actually, oh, this is a fairly terrible starting location. I actually really like the random maps. Despite, despite them being randomized, uh, there's a lot of choke points that usually come up uh, on, every, on each of the maps. Uh, very interesting features and stuff like this wire weed. Uh, which is like the hostile fauna that you have, or uh, flora, I guess, uh, from Pandora. Basically the same thing. Um, but a lot of different interesting attributes uh, in this area here. And I just ended up in, being in an area with forest, which is bad for food production, but whatever. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do, because it's the lowest, is I'm going to do food. So I'm going to build a farm right there. Yeah, this is actually pretty terrible. Uh, starting spot. Okay, there's some bad guys. So we'll start firing them. Uh, as units uh, level up, they get better. Uh, heroes especially, you can give them skills, which become very useful. Uh, and it really behooves you to keep these units alive because it takes a while for units to get produced. Uh, so you really want... Uh, they just cap them, didn't they? Damn it. Uh, those guys are uh, enslavers, which can capture friendly units, which is super annoying. So I need to destroy these guys before I get destroyed by them. And I'm not going to engage my own units, so I'm just going to skip him. I should be all right. No, I got to I got to chase after him. Enslave. This is like <laughs> such a bad beginning. And then these guys are going to head me off of the pass. That's the problem with a lot of the randomized stuff. But like I said, the uh, you know the game is very unforgiving. Uh, I'm just, I'm honestly going to ignore my unit. I need to go find that enslaver. You know, took all those little dog things down. And hopefully they won't block my path too much. Oh, here they come back. Okay, good. The AI, uh, even the creep AI, is actually pretty good. Uh, the creep AI definitely does a good job attacking your weakest unit. Uh, they'll retreat and reheal and then come back. Same thing with your opposing factions. And I do have grenades now, so I think I'm going to definitely use those. Uh, you see over here on the bottom left, you get an esti uh, estimate on how much damage you're going to cause by doing an action. Alright, so I'm going to try to double grenade. Uh, that right there is overwatch. If your if a unit does not fire during its turn but another enemy unit moves into your territory during their turn then it will automatically engage them. Almost dead. So close. One more turn and I'll get my, uh, my thing back. Alright so this city is done. I think I'm going to get the barracks now. Uh, yeah, we'll do that because I'm building the barracks right now. And I need to do research after that, actually, because six is not very much. <laughs> I'll get them back as soon as I destroy the enslavers. Oh my gosh, seriously. Oh, the enslavers got the other unit of mine. That's really great. <sighs> Which means I can't get that. Well, this is a very terrible start. 
I think I'm gonna absolutely lose this straight out of the gate. I need to find them. They enslaved both of my units. <laughs> No, there they are. Oh, good. Okay, good. So your city can defend. There's all my units back. Okay, that was almost crisis mode. Alright, I'm going to pull these guys back. And take these guys down. Jeez. That was like the worst possible start. Other than finding the big giant robot guy. The dog's running off. Alright, you... Now what you can do, you can have them hold, heal. Which is what I'm going to have them do. Because, again, you really don't want to lose units because it takes a very long amount of time. They're not expensive, but it takes a long amount of time for them to... Uh, oh, awesome. Cool. I'll cap that thing, though. There's also these little uh, artifact-looking things, uh, which give you some sort of bonus. Don't really know it. Oh, there it is. Uh, adds one to movement. Alright, so I'm going to pull that guy back. <sighs> I guess I'll go... I mean, it, man... Okay, the hardest part of this game isn't ne isn't really the uh, opposing factions. It's the uh, hostility of the uh, environment. I'm gonna pull these guys up, and I'm just gonna reheal before I head back out again. All right, so we got that, and we're just gonna reheal. All right, so now I can produce another one, which I need to do. And then I want to do research. That's my third building there. Uh, ground vehicles, maybe. Actually, I'd rather do heroes, I think. Need I need a hero. I need a hero. Alright, so pretty terrible start. We're just going to reheal for a couple turns. And then we're going to head up. Basically, when my uh, infantry unit gets built, we'll head out. So it's like one more turn. Alright, there he is. Alright. Your 6 out of 16 is not great. I'll keep him in the back. All right, so what's the upkeep on that one? I can do like one more. And then I need to cap another tile. Mm, let's do that one. I'm also going to need some power in a little bit. And I want to get, uh, once I finish researching it in a turn, I want to get the shrine up for uh, heroes. There, there, that is. Okay, good. I'm not on an island. That would suck so much. Uh, let's do that. Well, let's do that one. Their beginning ones are actually pretty decent. Oh, hello. There's your Overwatch. All right. Now they can attack from two away, but they saw it was four damage. But you get more being closer, so they'll take them out. All right. So let me cap this. Another good thing about the outpost locations is it provides uh, kind of scouting in the area, which is nice.
I actually have a pretty decent number of units for the beginning. I do uh, want to get the shrine up, though, so I can build a hero. Uh, what, some of the factions you can hurry build. This is going to take six turns. And I have two electricity upkeeps, so I have to do a power thing after that. So actually, I might just queue that up now. So it'll do that first, and then the power second. And then we'll see where our resources sit. We're actually doing fairly decent. Alright, so we're just scouting around, seeing what we can find. Yeah, we'll probably, honestly, I'll probably keep heading north because we'll run into one of the other factions soon. Because usually when you have four players, they stick somebody in each corner, and I'm going to heal them. We're going to have to worry about population here in a minute. In my city. Here, we'll pull them back. No, don't kill them, please. Oh, jeez. Like I said, the AI is really good about picking out your weakest units and just obliterating them. Alright, let's go here. Attack them. Let's go here and attack them. You go cap that thing back. It gives us a good food bonus. Alright. Come on, the other guardsmen. So I'm going to idle this for now. So I don't really need any more guardsmen yet. We'll do, we'll do that. I don't really need it. Actually, what's my pop at? Five out of seven. Six turn. Yeah, I can do it next. I can do it the next one after this. All right. <laughs> you need to heal. Don't want to end a turn in the wire. Wait, there's another area I can cap. Because it will uh, cause damage. Cap that. No, I don't want to go in the wire weed. You also notice that you're only allowed one unit per tile. Uh, the emphasis is kind of on less but more powerful units, which actually works pretty well. Uh, you're not spending, you know, your turns ordering 30 units around. Um, especially later on, you can, uh, you know, build up the the kind of the end game units pretty quickly if you chose the right bonuses and whatnot. All right, so that is done. I want to cap. Yeah, that thing right there. Oh, great. I'm really fast in. Those damn things. Yeah, so my... I, I mean, basically pointless to attack that, but... Oh, and the giant scorpion things. Well, but he's low health. There must be... The other faction must be around here. I just want to cap this thing. The ore field. Like I said, the, these outpost locations are key. And it, it really is what forces you to go out and scout and deal with all these hostile things is because you really need to cap uh, as many of those outpost locations as you can. Alright. Now I'm going to do the pop thing. Oh good, he ran away. Oh no. More enslavers. This is just going to annoy the crap out of me. Yeah, and the enslaver stole one of my units, of course. Because, of course. Can I grenade this thing? 10.9. So. <sighs>
Yeah, and I can't get a... Uh, uh, no, I can attack him from here. Not enough, though, because I can't get right next to him. These flavors are so annoying. Alright, what are we doing now? Ah, oh, yeah, I can finally get a hero, so we'll definitely do that. And then we need yeah, power, because we're building the power. You can also get uh, items for your heroes, which is pretty nifty. That guy died, didn't he? God damn it. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to keep going this way. Where did he go? Oh, gosh. Like, seriously. Like, double enslaver start. Ridiculous. He better come back. Just floated his ass away. Can't even get up. I can't even get up here. Oh, God. Like, is this just a gigantic mountain range, I guess, that I can't even traverse? What am I supposed to do? <laughs> I'm, just, I'm getting totally destroyed. I don't want to lose my unit. But, golly, stupid enslavers, twice. It's like not, not even worth doing anything. Need to get past the stupid and, of course, there's a thing here, and all these bugs. Freaking ridiculous. Like, I can't even go anywhere. I'm trapped by the and this mountain range. This is like the most unlucky start I've ever had in any game that I've played during this. This is ridiculous. Yeah, I just lost my entire army. That's it. I lost my entire army. This guy's full. Yay, I guess. I guess I better build some more units. We'll do the grenades. Gee, will we? Yeah, have fun disappearing off into the sunset. I don't even think I can get up here. I think I'm just tra I'm trapped here, and this is all water. Like, this is the worst start I've ever had. Like, I don't think I can get up past that area. Let's cap a new tile. Oh, I don't know. This. Heh, <laughs> maybe. Maybe the uh, enslaver will get destroyed by somebody else. Like, where am I supposed to go? Guess I'm going south. <sighs> Don't really have a choice. Because this is this is effect. It's basically water. It's like impassable. All right, you get this thing. wait for the other units. Oh yeah, you get skills. Uh, accuracy, armor penetration. Eh, doesn't really matter. Alright, what do I need? Yeah, we'll do this because it's my objective. I think that's all I'm gonna do. I'll get one unit back in a turn, and then I'll basically go out with these three units and the hero. Oh good, they're capping all my stuff. Awesome. Alright. Not 
go good. We'll do one more. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll do mini packs. Alright. I really need to heal those guys. Yeah, I guess I'm, uh, I mean, this is basically the bottom of the map. So I guess I'm heading down. Oh, yeah, the Bastion. Sweet. I don't really have the units to deal with that right now. As you can see by its 0.4 out of 32 health decline. He's gonna mow down all my units as well. Okay. Oh, good. Oh, good. Alright, so we gotta move not near him. If possible. They're gonna get mowed down next turn. <laughs> this is <laughs> such an awful... So awful. Alright. Hero, let's get at it. Let's see, which is more? That's one. 1.3. Not great. I mean, I'm going to lose that unit. I'm going to lose this unit. That's basically it. And without even, like, encountering any of the other factions. If you hold down right, uh, the right mouse button, it'll highlight who you can engage, which is pretty nifty. Uh, I was trying to figure out which tile to move to. Okay, so we got one more of these guys. Well... I need more food. I'm going to sleep this for now. I mean, I have 107, so it's not a huge deal. But I'll need to build another food thing next. I'd like to stay ahead of the resources. Okay, good. They're fleeing. Oh, uh, just kidding. They're coming back. And they're going to take him out. And they level up, too. I, I don't have the units to deal with this right now. <sighs> oh, goodness gracious. Well, except he's going to die next turn, so it doesn't really matter. 2.7. 5. Six, three. Guess they're considered infantry. No, yeah, it took two of them, though. No. Alright, what did I say I need? More food. Let me get a scout sentinel up. Now that I got my vehicle building. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. Another set. Awesome. All right. Four O should take him out with that. Okay, good. <sighs> Zoom in pretty far, I just play out so I can see. Uh, 
He's gonna get lit up by that. Oh, yep, there it goes. And it took out half my guys. Sweet. <laughs> so unlucky. Like, this start is so bad. My hero is about to die, too. They're about to die, too. I need a retreat. Crazy. Those, like, grenades and stuff are time-limited, so you can't, you know, keep spamming them or whatever. Okay, good. Please, leave me alone. Oh my god. Cap that. So you can at least see when they're coming. <laughs> Hide over here. And reheal. Alright. No. Here he comes. But they're on Overwatch, so take him down a little bit. I think they'll be okay against one. We should be able to take them out. Eventually. Yeah, I think they're far enough ahead where it won't be an issue. Alright, what do I need? I don't know. I have all three of the unit producing buildings. Alright, I do need people. Have block time. Yeah, because I'm out. Only have seven. And here comes the other one. And still can't take him out. He can fire from there. Okay, good. One down. Go ahead and take half my stuff out. Thank you. <laughs> Yay! Yeah, it would take, was that, 60 something attacks to take that thing out? Okay. No, I should probably do that. I need food. Kinda. Eventually I will. There goes the other half. Freaky. Unbelievable. Alright, well, killing native Xenos will hopefully be not an issue. <laughs> I don't want to get too close to this. What's the range on this guy's weapon? Two. I think that's far enough away. Hello, robot walker guys. Alright. How much is this? Two... I just need to get rid of all this crap and then just reheal for like 10 turns in a row. It's a st 
stupid fort thing. He has a level up than me. That's what they wanted. Alright, who's left? Oh my gosh, are you serious? <sighs> Great. Now they're gonna attack me from behind. <laughs> and he's gonna run away, and now I'm gonna get stomped by this guy. Oh good. Please yeah, please leave. Good lord. <laughs> Still can't take him out. Freaking finally. All right, everybody just come over here and we're going to just reheal until everybody's full. Oh good, enslavers. That's exactly what I want to see. Yeah, they took them out. Sweet. I mean, I'd st I don't have the units for this. Well, they're probably going to attack these guys. Or retreat. That's better. I mean, if they leave me alone, I'm not going to attack them because I just need to reheal. Everybody heal. Uh, you go up here and guard against these dumbasses. Uh, have you... Don't really have armor. Alright. Probably need Hydra, to be honest. Hydra's pretty cool. Look, they're back. That's the other advantage of kind of sitting and healing is that you preserve your attack ability for Overwatch. So all these units, even though they healed, they can go attack these uh, these enslavers that came in. It's pretty nifty. All right. Take this guy out. Please. Oh, thank the Lord. Just heal. 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 <laughs> uh, new tile. What do I want? I actually have a pretty good abundance of food, so I'll pick that. Because I keep losing all my units. Alright. Cap that. 
I don't even know what that does. What does this do? Oh, more hit points. That's actually pretty useful. Get these giant bugs away from me. The rest of those guys heal up. Yeah, I'm just stuck in my corner because I just keep getting destroyed by these uh, by these creeps. It's ridiculous. If I played this out, I, I'm sure I would get absolutely steamrolled by any of the other factions because they're probably way ahead of me in terms of uh, technology and stuff. Yeah, you go back. You also notice that, you know, combat takes more than one turn to take somebody out, which I think makes it a lot more interesting. Uh, do that. No oh, good, another one. Instead of, you know, somebody always winning uh, the first turn. You can get this too, can't you? Yep. Alright. Don't really need any of those right now. What does it want me to do? Recover scattered units. I oh, got one up there. Maybe I do need one of those. Let's do one. Alright, what do I want? Research, I guess. Kind of have everything else. I, I could double up on uh, unit producing. Alright, just re everybody reheal. You guard. You heal. Uh, <laughs> so dangerous to go scouting out by yourself, but I'm going to anyway. Gotta avoid that tower. Go oh, ahead, guys. Another thing I like about the missions kind of gives you areas to go after. Like I'll probably come up and get to get these uh, units. Hydras are ready. I want to build one of those. Alright, let's take some of these dummies out. Not out all the way yet, though. But I can get him with this. You can take him out with grenades. No, that was good. That was really good, actually. All right, y'all, come up. I think that's pretty much everybody. Uh, yeah, I'll do the heavy ones. I actually haven't even looked at what my loyalty rating is. Eh, zero. 
Actually, I might switch that to the Sanctum. I think we'll move up and try to cap these, uh, these. Do need extra units. Cap any, uh, outposts along the way. Can I finally take these out? Almost. There we go. Sweet. Alright, we're rolling now a little bit. Oh, another tile. Let's do... I don't know. Yeah, probably, yeah, probably do uh, more influence. To be honest. Hello, I would like to cap you. I like more units. Let's cap all this junk. Alright, now we're cooking. Things are looking up. Capped a bunch of outpost locations. One more unit's hiding up here, and then we can also cap another one up here and probably actually go <laughs> avoid this area entirely, to be honest. Take them out myself. Slavers. All right. Do want to build that? Right, queue that up next. Oh, hi. Make a stupid elevation. Need to get reorganized a little bit. Units are getting a little bit too scattered. Kind of surprised I haven't run into anybody yet. Any of the other factions. Let's do our heavy weapon squad because I 
suspect we will be running into... Oh, there's one of those stupid robot guys. those damn things. Alright, let's concentrate on getting these guys out. Can you come out with that? I think you can. Okay, good. Okay, good. don't want any piece of that robot to be honest about it so I'm kind of running away from him there we go don't really have any use for these units that are way over here that's all right Oh, cool. Robots. I'm gonna have to take this robot out. Alright, robot time. Oh, good, there's two more over there. Gonna order these and then I'll probably uh, call it a day because it's gonna take a while to. Uh, I kind of surprised I haven't run into anybody yet, but they're probably getting stomped by the uh, neutral stuff too. Cap that. Up with something else too. Yeah, these guys just don't really honestly have any use for them. So I don't want to go back up north where I got stomped earlier. There you go. Uh, that's Warhammer 40,000. Gladius, Relics of War. Uh, you know, it obviously has a lot of similarities with Pandora, uh, First Contact, but I think it differentiates itself pretty well uh, from that previous game. You know, you can't stack units, uh, which really puts the emphasis on more powerful single units and a little bit more strategy and where to place units when they engage others in combat because each of the units have different weapons that have different ranges so you have some units that are better at melee like uh, you know this uh, hero unit right here or you have ones that can do uh, damage at range as well uh, so a lot of strategy and in, in placement there uh, I like the randomized maps and it makes for some interesting landscapes to fight over. Uh, you know, the game has doesn't really have a campaign, which is fine with me because I like skirmish games anyway. also has online multiplayer. Uh, you know, you could go for the classic 4X victory condition of just defeating everybody uh, or go after the quest 
uh, line for your faction, which doesn't change uh, with a new game. Uh, there's no diplomacy in the game at all, which is by design. You know, everybody's supposed to be at war with one another, which is fine with me because, you know, you end up having to fight with everybody anyway. And having alliances between different races is kind of weird uh, to begin with. Not very uh, huge uh, differences between the different factions. Uh, you know, they basically all have, you know, your basic infantry unit, your scout uh, armored unit, your tank, your anti-tank infantry, uh, and so on and so forth, and a lot of the same types of buildings. Some of the resource uses are different based on which faction you're with, but, you know, once you learn one, you can pretty much learn all the other ones pretty quickly. I do like the way that the cities are set up, uh, where you just claim tiles and then build buildings on those tiles. And I, I also like how there's no set build order. You really just kind of build things based on your resource income, which is going to be different every time, and if you've, even if you play the same faction, based on which outposts uh, you encounter and in which order. So it's really just a matter of looking at the little rates over here and seeing what you need to build next. Uh, and if you don't need to build anything, just concentrate on producing units. Uh, you know, there's some tactical decisions on when to use abilities, like all the grenades. Uh, heroes have some uh, interesting special abilities you can use as well. Uh, you know, and the, the research is the same every time, but it does give you a lot of interesting options. And you can skip over stuff that you don't like, because you can see here, you know, it unlocks the next tree uh, pretty early on, although, you know, the choices are uh, more expensive. Uh, you know, the game map is extremely difficult. Uh, to deal with. Uh, a lot of hostile uh, units. Uh, you'll encounter some challenging terrain like you saw in my game. Uh, and if you don't stick your units together and work as a team, uh, then you will get destroyed by uh, the neutral uh, creeps even before coming into contact with any of uh, the other factions that are playing the game. Uh, the AI is good uh, for this type of game. Uh, the Creeps will attack your weakest units. They'll retreat uh, when they're almost defeated. Uh, and the other factions do a good job of uh, building up their units uh, and then, uh, you know, expanding their cities and stuff like that. And honestly, the creeps are actually more challenging, I think, than uh, the other factions are. Uh, because usually when I find another faction, unless I've been impeded like I have in this game, it's pretty easy to just kind of surround them with some of your more advanced units and just take their city down, uh, their capital. Um, but, you know, the, the Warhammer setting doesn't really matter to me too much. I'm more interested in the gameplay. And I think that this uh, definitely does have enough unique features that sets it apart from Pandora First Contact. Uh, you know, it has an extremely hostile uh, area, which I think is more interesting, you know, kind of the build-up to... Uh, you know, engaging the other enemies, uh, I think is more interesting than, you know, actually just fighting uh, the other factions. You know, a lot of good exploration element here, a lot of good uh, solid city building, you know, getting all the outposts that you want to increase your resource income. Uh, so a lot of interesting decisions uh, in this 4X game. Uh, and because of that, I think this is a, a pretty good one, one that you'll probably want to check out. That's all I have for today. Until next time, bye now.